open up this pit! Think you've had an embarrassing day? This poor little boy's got his legs stuck in a pavement drain in southwest China. Police arrive on the scene to comfort him and lever out the concrete block. When that doesn't work, a small hydraulic ram is brought in, but that too fails to crack the heavy-duty grate. Finally, and now getting a lot of attention from passers-by, the poor two-year-old has to suffer the indignity of getting the fire brigade in with a full-scale jaws of life. And even that struggles. Eventually, though, he's freed and taken home. He's only got minor injuries, but the psychological scars, well, that's a different matter. Let's open up this pit! It took a full fire crew to rescue this three-year-old girl from a washing machine in East China's Shandong province. According to her mother, she plays in the washing machine all the time, but when the toddler got trapped in it from the waist down, her mother had no choice but to call the emergency services. The rescue teams used hand saws, electric saws and cutting tools to free the girl. They offered her sweets to keep her distracted, so she didn't get too upset. The three-year-old was eventually safely freed when the firefighters managed to tear an iron sheet apart. Perhaps she'll think twice about playing in the washing machine next time. Let's open up this pit! Firefighters were called to the rescue of this small boy who managed to get his head stuck between concrete pillars in a building in Heshuan district in southwest China. He put his head through the gap for fun, but when he couldn't get out again, his mother had to call for help. After a careful examination of the scene, firefighters covered the boy's head with one of their jackets before bringing in hydraulic tools to push the pillars apart. Within 10 minutes, the boy's head was pulled out, leaving him frightened, but otherwise unharmed. Let's open up this pit! This little boy has got himself into a rather sticky situation and there's no clear way out. The four-year-old was shopping with his mother at a branch of Walmart in Gailin, China, when he got caught in the hinge side of a closing glass door. A quick towel to protect him from any more injuries and local firemen soon had the door safely off its hinges. Despite appearances, his hand wasn't seriously injured. Let's open up this pit! Firefighters in southwest China were called on to save a four-year-old boy who was stuck in the window grill of a two-storey apartment. The boy had leaned out of the window to wave goodbye to his older sister who was on her way to school, but Mr. Step ended up stuck in the bars. Fortunately, his sister saw and rushed back, and with the help of a neighbour, twisted a bedsheet into a rope and held the boy up with it. Another neighbour found a ladder and supported the child with his shoulder until firefighters showed up. They then cut through four bars to get the boy free. Let's open up this pit! An eight-year-old girl in China has been rescued after getting her head trapped in between window security bars. The little girl was holding onto the bars with her hands and using another ledge to support her body as she dangled from the sixth floor of a residential building. Local firefighters were called to the scene in eastern China's Zhejiang province to save the trapped girl. She became stuck after she climbed out of the window onto the security bars to see what had happened after she heard a sound downstairs. Let's open up this pit! It's the 100th child that has become stuck in railings in China this week. Not really, but there's been quite a few. This five-year-old boy was hanging from the fourth floor of a residential building on Tuesday in central China. The youngster was spotted dangling from security bars outside his house with his head stuck in between them. A 55-year-old man used a ladder and climbed under the boy, holding the child up as firefighters rushed to the scene and began their rescue operation. After 20 minutes, the boy was finally freed from the bars and brought down safely. Let's open up this pit! The dramatic moment caught on a mobile phone in central China. A four-year-old girl is stuck in balcony railings and dangling mid-air from her second-floor home. Luckily, her cries have been heard by passers-by. A man borrowed a ladder, climbed up and managed to support the girl's feet before she was freed. She was left alone at home and no one knows how she managed to get her head wedged in the railings. 
doctors say she is now fine, except for a slight abrasion on her cheek. Let's open up this pit! A six-year-old boy in China has been rescued after getting stuck between iron railings, leaving him hanging from the sixth floor of a residential building. The little boy was left home alone by his parents when he was playing on the grate, fell through and became trapped. A neighbour who lived below helped to give the boy support by holding his feet. Local firefighters in China's Qingzong region removed an iron bar and pulled the boy to safety. Let's open up this pit! A woman has been rescued by firefighters after becoming wedged between two walls for seven hours in East China. <laughs> The woman got stuck after she took a shortcut through a narrow gap between two walls to get home and was only spotted by passers-by the next morning. <laughs> Firefighters were then called to the scene and spent around 20 minutes trying to get her out. <laughs> Well, she won't take that shortcut again, will she? Let's open up this pit! A sight that catches your breath. A boy hangs by his head four stories up in China. The five-year-old got stuck between the railings as he tried to climb over the window cage, apparently looking for his mother. Firefighters set up a bed sheet to catch the boy just in case he fell, while another team broke into the apartment and rescued him. The child is thought to have made a full recovery. Let's open up this pit! This is not a joke. Another child in China has got their head stuck in railings. In what is apparently proving to be a bit of an epidemic in the country, firefighters have been called in to help again. And with China being the world's most populous country, there may be no end in sight to small people becoming trapped in similar situations. This five-year-old girl in the east of the country getting her head wedged between the window bars outside an apartment on the 24th floor. Quite a conversation in the future for her and her mum and dad who will want to know, along with parents everywhere, just what she thought she was up to. And if being stuck hanging outside your apartment from your head, more than 200 feet above the ground wasn't bad enough, China's state broadcaster CCTV filmed it so it could be shared with the world. Firefighters, who one thinks might be hard pushed to find time to actually tackle a fire, had to break into the room and cut through the window bars to rescue the child. One of them having to climb out from a neighbour's window 24 storeys up and bring her in, using the simple but effective technique of wrapping her in a sheet and hauling her back in. She later told CCTV that she was locked in home alone by her mother. One explanation, certainly, but could it be a mysterious ring-like video which small children watch only to wake up wondering why they have their heads stuck in some bars? Let's open up this pit! It's not the first time this has happened, and let's be honest, it definitely won't be the last. Yes, firefighters have again had to save a child trapped between two walls in South China, and this one took place on Saturday morning. The emergency services rushed to the scene after receiving a phone call. They found the gap between the wall was as little as 15 centimetres wide. The firefighters had to remove some bricks, chatting to the child and feeding him milk to comfort him. After two hours, the five-year-old was finally rescued. Let's open up this pit! A six-year-old boy is rescued from beneath a house in East China's Shandong province. The child became trapped in his bed when the roof of his family's old adobe house caved in after days of heavy rainfall. Using a hydraulic expansion clamp to gradually lift the roof, it took rescuers around half an hour to reach the boy, who could be heard screaming for help from under the debris. Let's open up this pit! Now, we told you it wouldn't be long before we reported another one of these incidents, yet someone in China has got stuck again. 
This time, a five-year-old boy had to be rescued after getting trapped between two walls. Yeah, we don't make this stuff up. The boy was playing with his friends on a ledge above the wall when he fell into the narrow gap between the two walls. But don't worry, firefighters came to the rescue. Yeah, we're pretty sure they're pros at this by now. the boy didn't get injured. Until next time, China. Let's open up this pit! Now, only two days ago, we told you how a young boy got rescued after getting stuck between two walls in China. Well, believe it or not, it's happened again. Yeah, we're not even joking either. Yeah, a man in northeast China had to be rescued after getting stuck again between two walls. Firefighters were called to the office where the man worked after his upper body got stuck between the curtain wall and the solid wall. It took firefighters around 12 minutes to free him and luckily he wasn't injured. <laughs> And if, like us, you're wondering how on earth that happened, well, apparently he was trying to pick up his colleague's mobile that had fallen into the gap. Ah, oh, whatever next. Let's open up this pit! We all know those times you're hanging out in your window cage in South China and you get into a spot of bother. Well, this eight-year-old boy certainly does after climbing out of his parents' window while they were at work and getting all sorts of tangled. Nearby policemen held on to the little guy to stop him from falling. He really was pretty close to falling before firefighters arrived to set him free, wrapping him in a belt before cutting a hole in the cage. After 20 minutes, he was back to safety. The lesson is always call the fire brigade before you climb out the window. Oh wait, no, that's not the lesson. Let's open up this pit! We didn't think there were any more places for kids in China to get stuck. We've had railings, balconies, and now a music box. Look away if you're squeamish though, as this seven-year-old has clearly bitten off more than she can chew after getting her lips stuck in the mechanics of a music box. And it sounds pretty painful. <laughs> Firefighters were called to help the little girl whose lip was lodged between the iron axle and plastic base of the box. They decided not to break the whole thing in case it caused any more injuries. Luckily, after a long five minutes, she was freed. Phew, at least the whole fiasco ended on a high note. Let's open up this pit! Is it actually possible for so many children to get stuck in random places in China? We didn't think so, but yes, it's happened again. This time, a teenager got trapped between walls. Jung got himself stuck in a tiny 25 centimeter wide gap between the walls of two warehouses. The 16-year-old told rescuers he dropped his PlayStation Portable and fell into the gap trying to pick it up. Junk was more than four meters deep into the narrow space and started having trouble breathing. Local firefighters were called to the site and the teen was so stuck, the only solution was to break the wall. But two hours later, Jung was freed. He was pulled through a hole in the wall made near his leg. After a brief examination, doctors gave him the all clear. Let's open up this pit! A gruelling rescue operation in China as a woman becomes trapped in deep silts beside the Yellow River in the country's Henan province. After arriving at the scene and telling her to spread out to avoid sinking any further, firefighters crawled through the thigh-deep silts to rescue the woman, who'd begun to have difficulty breathing. Oh, 
After nearly an hour, and with the help of ropes and those on the riverbank, the woman was eventually pulled to safety and given medical attention.